Good morning, I'm David Lawrence, and this is Synopsis Digital for Wednesday, January 14th, 2009, your first early morning digital briefing. Yahoo hired former CEO of Autodesk Inc. Carol Bartz to succeed Jerry Yang as CEO of the company, confirming whispers that have been circulating for the past few days. Carol is a familiar face in Silicon Valley. She ran the software company Autodesk from 1992 to 2006 and currently sits on the boards of Cisco and Intel. Yahoo President Sue Decker will resign, and Jerry Yang will return to his founder's role. What direction will the company now take? Ms. Bartz gave out little details in a conference call to announce the transition. With its leadership issue solved, Yahoo will be free to pull the trigger on a search agreement with previous suitor Microsoft, according to the Wall Street Journal's Boomtown blog, citing several sources close to both companies. Apparently, Microsoft has had a proposal in place for some time, waiting only for a new face to present it to. In multi-platform content news, in order to utilize additional platforms to their fullest potential, it makes sense that each medium be considered from a project's gestation stage. CBS and Lonely Girl 15 creators Equal are taking this approach to their next big social media entertainment extravaganza, a whodunit murder mystery called Harper's Island. Sort of a lost meets and then there were none scenario. The story revolves around a wedding on a secluded island where guests begin to be picked off one by one. The 13-episode show will exist as a weekly one-hour primetime series premiering on CBS on Thursday, April 9th at 10 p.m. with active online and mobile elements, the characters and narratives of which will be interwoven uh, interwoven with the main show. Harpersglobe.com will serve as the project's online interactive hub with additional content to be distributed across the CBS mobile and CBS audience network. Now you can enjoy the low-quality animation of South Park in high definition. Comedy Central officially launched in HD on Cablevision Systems yesterday with close to 200 hours of programming in native high definition. Mainstays, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart and The Colbert Report will initially be upconverted from standard def, but will shift to native HD TV in the near future. In Innovators and Startups, social media widget vendor KickApps unveiled its new App Studio, a drag and drop widget and video player authoring solution, enabling publishers to create more advanced applications in Flash on the fly. KickApps will invite uh, invite developers to submit their Flash applications and components to the KickApps Flex-based App Studio, allowing any web publisher to gain instant access to its customizable widgets, players, and embeddable applications. IM App Mebo and Yahoo Maps are the first third-party applications to take advantage of the solution. For instance, Parenthood.com deployed a custom Mebo chat application to allow community members to participate in live weekly chats on the Parenthood.com website. More plug-in APIs for the App Studio are due out in early Q2. Huffington Post peeled off some bills from its recent $25 million investment to purchase comedy news site 236.com outright from Barry Diller's IAC, Interactive Corp. 236, formerly a joint venture between HuffPo and IAC, will become integrated into a comedy vertical on HuffingtonPost.com. Be sure to check your email version of today's Synopsis Digital for more news about digital advertising, trends and research, and executive moves, plus plenty of new classified ads and other bits and pieces that didn't make it into this podcast. The music in the podcast is called Chit Chat by Richard Freitas and Jerry Brioso. You'll find this music and more from Richard at his website, richardfreitas.com. For Wayne Carfold in Seattle, who wrote and compiled Synopsis Digital, in Los Angeles, I'm David Lawrence.